Lawmakers passed two bills during session today, including Bill 130-35, which seeks to appropriate $150,000 from the Healthy Futures Fund for the Guam Autism Center. According to Senator Therese Terlahi, the Autism Center needs the funding to continue its operations until the remainder of the year. Despite the funding shortfall, Terlahi said the center is doing its best to respond to the needs of its clients and their families. In fact, she says the center continues to reach out to families, conduct parent trainings, and even explore telehealth options for its clients. During sessions, Terlahi also outlined the reasons why lawmakers should vote favorably on the bill. I want to re-emphasize the, um, the importance of passing this legislation. Dr. Vince Duenas, who, who really has spearheaded this program, he and his wife, uh, and the Hunter Speaks uh, organization, he, Dr. Dr. Duenas has testified that they have already identified approximate, uh, well, 260 children at the time that he testified with autism on Guam. But Almost everyone else who has testified regarding how many children there are with autism on Guam, they all seem to be in agreement that the estimate of 260 is very low and that there are just children who are not being diagnosed or, or receiving services at this time. But the real um, benefit of this program, Madam Speaker, to our community is the ability to diagnose early or to, to hopefully receive treatment earlier. And the earlier they can uh, provide this therapy, it's a behavioral therapy, the earlier or the more successful they, they believe that these children are going to, to be.